This evening, the Rwanda Youth Diaspora in Canada is holding a virtual event to commemorate the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi. Among the high-profile guests at the event include uh, the Youth and Culture Minister Rosemary Mbabazi and High Commissioner of Rwanda in Canada, Prosper Hijiro. Now, uh, to tell us more about this, ev this event, I'm joined by Rita Ngarambe, who is also the organizer of this event. Thank you so much, Rita, for joining us. Thank you so much for having I understand I got you off uh, the event uh, to speak to us and tell us uh, the event. How is it going right now? Uh, it's going on perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, the, guests, um, the guest speakers are giving up product incredible messages mm -hmm. to the youth mm -hmm. and they were so honored, honestly. How many uh, people are following uh, this event uh, right now? So we have it streamed both on YouTube and uh, on uh, Facebook and the Twitter. So overall, we have about 500 people and mm, plus, mm. most of them who are youth. So mm. they're asking questions, they're participating, and uh, the goal is being met. Mm, understand. Uh, unique circumstances, of course, uh, usually call for unconventional solutions. But uh, how would you describe this uh, online uh, commemoration event that you're holding? Um, I think it would be, it's a pretty amazing event. Uh, it's called Our Past Event, which started in Rwanda in 2009. That's mm. when they had an initiative started by the Six City Entertainment, which is a group of young artists. And uh, their first event held place in 2012. So it's been ongoing uh, for nine years in Rwanda. Uh, however, last year I sat down when I moved to Canada from USA. Mm. And I was like, we all have this uh, commemoration. It's only by, done by the older people. Mm where the youth, they don't have time to ask questions, we are curious. So it's more like history is, is being pushed onto us, but it's our history. Mm. So I reached out to the president, one of the organizers who is uh, Gasana Christian, mm. and he was pretty thrilled. He was like, this is our mission to teach the young people, to give a chance to those who were born during, or too young during the genocide, or those who are born after the genocide to learn and have an experience and participate in building the country. Uh, which is really what we're doing, and uh, this one taking place online, it was, it's even more of uh, an opportunity because we're able to reach it globally. It was going to take place just in Toronto, but now we'll have friends from the USA who are connecting in from China, so it's really more, uh, more intimate and more, um, more deserving. Okay, uh, I will ask you, because this event is mainly attended or uh, followed by, uh, by the young people, what should the young people uh, do to not just, not only just to remember, but also, uh, you know, uh, learn from the history of this country to build a stronger future for Rwanda? The young people first, they have to understand, because some of... Either... ...for genocide against Tutsi. Yeah. Their history. They weren't there when the genocide happened. So therefore, uh, why should I connect to that dark part? So they sort of closed the chapter. But I would like to encourage the young people that it all started by dehumanizing people. If we realize that it's a it's a cause or an act that was done towards a human race, towards another human, towards a mother, a child, towards a father, like humanize the actions and then from there you realize the importance of fighting for peace and for fighting so the genocide never happens again. The, the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi becomes a never again act in all the history. Mm. Is that the reason you named this event our past or did you just want to look at the past or you also want to look at the future? Um, the name, the, they say Nikina Rwanda Utamenya Vanamenya Ghana. So the name our past was to tell them, reflect on where you're coming from and thrive. See, if you're not proud of your, 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 your past, what can you do to improve the future? Our past, when you look at it and you're so unhappy, you see the orphanages full of people who have no parents. We look at uh, the kids or friends who don't have families that were killed during the 19th and for genocide again as a Tutsi. You're like, would I want my child to grow without uh, a parent? Would I appreciate the future if it was like the past? So from there, you reflect on the future for you to move forward. So the name of our past was inspired by that. Okay. Uh, before I let you go, uh, we are in the period of, of course, lockdown and, and coronavirus. What is the message there that you, uh, that is cutting across among the Rwandan community in Canada, but the message you also have for 
your fellows and your countrymen back home? Um, thank you. I would say um, stay safe, stay inside, trust the authorities. Uh, they are doing what's best for you. Um, and uh, share the message, make sure, encourage everyone, reach out to your family and friends, check in if they're okay. And uh, yeah, <laughs> stay creative. Rita Ngarambe, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. Have a wonderful one. You too.